there is a conclusion that people have drawn, and it's nearly unanimous. I mean, everybody has swallowed the pill that there's something wrong with me, even as a Christian, there's something wrong with me, my heart is not right, I'm a sinner. You know what? You're never called a sinner in the New Testament. If you're in Christ, you're a saint. You're a saint who sometimes sins. You're not a sinner. And people will talk about their heart as if it's not obedient. But look at what Paul is saying. Am I going to go with my my feelings or am I going to go with the Apostle Paul on this? Because, man, here's what I do. Do you do this? This is what I do. I get a dirty thought. I get a sinful thought. I get a, a jealous thought. I get a negative thought. I get any kind of lustful thought, a sinful thought, and then I conclude something about this and I make a determination about this. You see? I take that one-foot journey with that thought and I say, well, my heart must be evil. I'm thinking dirty. My heart must be dirty. I'm thinking lustful. My heart must be lustful. I'm thinking bad. My heart must be bad. And that's where we go. But you're not the sum total of your thoughts. You're not every thought that you get. Do you recognize you get some thoughts that are not you? (laughs) That's a pretty big revelation. You get some thoughts that are not you. You're in the midst of a a, a marriage uh, argument, perhaps. You might get some thoughts that are not you. You're in the midst of disciplining your kids. You might get some thoughts that are not you. Watch out. If you don't know that, you won't easily discard them. If you don't realize that you can get some thoughts that are not from you, you won't know to discard them. But the scripture says, count yourself dead to those thoughts and alive to God. And I want you to notice that this passage, Romans 6, it's addressed to every believer and that includes you. So I've often given this example, but there is a radical difference between hardware and software, right? Maybe you've got the new iPhone. Is it the 12? Are we up to 12 now? Can they get this thing right? I mean, how many versions do they need before the camera is 12K and everything is is $50,000 at your local AT&T store? But you bring that shiny new iPhone home and it's, it's shiny and it's new and it's beautiful and it's hardware. But then you're on it five minutes and it says you need a software update. I just paid 100 grand for that and it needs a software update? Are you kidding me? That's the difference between hardware and software. Well, there's a difference between hardware and software updates. You've got the shiny new hardware. You just need software updates. The renewing of the mind. Not every thought comes from you. You need software updates. Don't confuse software with hardware. You used to be a slave of sin. Every one of us did. But now we've had a heart surgery. He, he took those, what do you call them? The tongs? He took the tongs and he ripped out our heart of stone and gave us a new heart. It's heart surgery.